let's begin. As soon as I say that, the air conditioner turns on. Great. So I've just been trying to test out different ways of filming in front of my shells as you can see. I kind of like this area specifically because you can see like my favorite books. I have like my favorite shelf behind me, all of that. It is my first book haul of the year. I'm so excited. I actually have a lot of books to haul for you guys and this is really sad because I literally have like just enough space at the bottom of my shelves for like the upcoming year and the upcoming book releases that are happening and I feel like that space is filling up way too soon. So I counted the amount of books that I have to haul for you guys and it's honestly so much I just stopped counting. I just stopped counting once I got to like the 30s. A lot of these books were either sent to me by publishing companies or given to me for Christmas from friends and family or I bought them myself so I'm going to try my best to disclose where I got these books from but before we get into the rest of this book haul I just want to say thank you so much to Disney Book Group for sponsoring today's video. They actually sent me over the first book of this book haul and that book is Brightly Woven by Alexandra Bracken. This is the new graphic novel that actually just came out February 2nd of 2021. This is really 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 exciting because this book was originally Alexandra Bracken's debut novel back in 2010 and it's now being adapted into a graphic novel form for middle grade readers and I have a newfound love for graphic novels. I don't know why it took me so long to start reading them but I'm really really happy I did and I'm really really happy to be working with Disney Book Group in order to share this with you guys and read it myself. We follow Sadell who is a extremely talented weaver in her small village and she lives a pretty normal life until Wayland North, who is a wizard, appears at her doorstep asking for her help. He holds secrets that could possibly stop a war from happening between two different kingdoms and it's up to them in order to race to the capital in order to deliver the message in time. However, the natural disasters, snowstorms, and earthquakes that keep happening when they're on their race to the capital seems to be a lot more than just a little coincidence. As Sadell and North both discover that they have a lot more secrets than they originally ever thought thought they did, Sadell realizes that the fate and outcome of what happens to the kingdom might be at the weight of her fingertips. This sounds like such a cute whimsical story. I literally cannot wait to read this and also I just want to show you guys the art style inside of the book is literally stunning. It's just it's so pretty. Brightly Woven is available now so if you want to check it out you can always go to the link in my description and the link to purchase it will be down there. Thank you again to Disney Book Group for sending over the first book of this book haul. I've been loving everything that's like wizard and witch inspired recently so I'm really 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 excited to get to this. Okay let's get into the other books that I have to show you guys. I don't even know where to begin I just have like a bunch of books around me so we're just gonna we're just gonna dig in. So the next book I want to show you guys is not going to come as a surprise to literally anyone and that is <laughs> Legendborn by Tracy Dion. This is actually the book of the month version. I don't know if you can tell at the top it has a little book of the month symbol and this was a gift from book of the month themselves. They sent this to me for Christmas because they know how much I absolutely love this book. I like reached out to them and asked how I could get it and they just sent it to me and I just love 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 everyone over there at book of the month. They're amazing, incredible, show-stopping. And now I have another copy of Legendborn. Do I need it? No. But did I want it? Yes. Will I cherish it? A hundred percent. The next book we have is Poison Study and this is by Maria V. Snyder. And to be honest I have no idea where I heard about this book for the first time but I do remember hearing the synopsis and being like why haven't I ever heard of this? It sounds so good. Basically what I know so far about this book is that the main character is supposed to be executed soon. However, she's given a chance to become a food taster slash poison taster and what that means is that she'll have the best meal the best life pretty much the only issue is that if she eats something that's poison she'll die something happens where the chief of security gives her a poison and the only way she can come back and survive from this poison is by going to him every single day for the daily antidote i think <laughs> this just sounds really intriguing to me i feel like i did such a terrible job at just explaining that but to me it sounds really really interesting I really recommend you guys go read the synopsis if you haven't read this book already. It also came out in 2005, so that's probably why I've never heard of it. That was quite a while ago. I feel like I'm gonna really like it, so that's why I bought it. 
The next book that I have to haul for you guys is The Glass Hotel and this is by Emily St. John Mandel and I'm gonna be honest I don't know what this book is about this was gifted to me by someone and yeah <laughs> apparently there's ghosts and there's a creepy hotel and there's love and delusion that sounds like a fun time this is also the author of station 11 which i've actually been wanting to read for a really long time and i know a lot of people really like station 11 so i mean i'm assuming a lot of people probably like this too because it's the same author but you never know so just a fair warning some of these books i've probably talked about in previous videos if i have i apologize i've really done a terrible job at like keeping track of the books that i've talked about and haven't talked about on my channel yet but not everyone watches every single video on my channel anyway so i just thought it'd be fine to haul them even if i'm not sure if i've talked about them before if that makes any sense but next up we have the frozen crown and this is by greta kelly and i was really really intrigued when harper collins offered to send me over a copy of this book because it was marketed as like a new adult fantasy i think the reason why it's more geared towards new adult is because it follows a bit more heavier topics than ya usually does the next book i have to haul for you guys was sent to me by wednesday books and that is the project by Courtney Summers. I actually haven't read Sadie yet, which I know it's a sin in itself. I've been wanting to listen to the audiobook because I know the book itself is kind of told in like a podcast form, so it would make a lot of sense for me to listen to the audiobook. I just haven't gotten a chance to get it yet, but I will. I will be reading Sadie and then I will be reading the project. Also, the cover is just really, really cool. So, the next book that I got was A Dark and Hollow Star, and this is by Ashley Shuttleworth. I talked about this in my most anticipated reads of 2021. I believe this is about four queer teens who all have something to do with like murders that take place and they all hold a key to what happened to those murders. That's like a very brief summary. There's a lot more that goes into it but I'm ready for this book. Like I just feel like it's gonna be really really good. Plus it's massive so I know it's gonna be a very thick fantasy and we love thick fantasies in this household. Period. The next book I got was a Christmas gift by my really good friend Becca and she got me Sully and this is by Lupita Nyong'o and I am so excited to read this. It is illustrated by Bashidi Harrison. I've been wanting this for a while. It's been in my Amazon wish list for a hot minute and I finally have it now so I can't wait to read this and hopefully one day read it to my children. So the next few books I'm going to haul were actually sent to me by a subscriber and I'm so sad because I actually don't know where the note was. The note had their name in it and I think my mom accidentally threw away the box with that note in it. But the books that this person sent to me was the Burn For Me trilogy and if you are new to my channel you might not know but I love 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 this trilogy so much by Alona Andrews it's one of my favorite like paranormal adult romance books ever and I believe this person sent it to me after they watched one of my videos talking about it I was having a terrible day that day and so when I got up and I checked the mail and saw this it literally meant the absolute world to me and I'm so upset I didn't put the note inside one of the books as soon as I read it but just know that I appreciate you so much and that note literally made my entire day and these books made my entire day so thank you again and if you haven't read these books I highly highly recommend 10 out of 10 I honestly think I need to reread them soon because with Valentine's Day I'm, I'm feeling hella lonely like your girl wants to live through some romance I I miss what they have I miss what Nevada and Rogan have next up we have Witches Steeped in Gold and this is by Sian and Smart this is a Jamaican inspired fantasy that is coming out soon about two different witches who are sworn enemies however they have to take down a mutual threat so they come together in order to do so and I'm really really excited about this one as well I have been in like the worst reading slump I feel like if I wasn't in the reading slump that I'm in right now I would have eaten this book up ages ago so I'm definitely going to force myself to sit down and probably try reading this because I think this is what I'm in the mood for to be completely honest and the little tagline says their order divides them their revenge will unite them so that sounds really intriguing to me so this book was in one of my Illumicrate boxes I believe I believe it was the one that I unboxed in my like most recent unboxing video and it was the paperback edition of Legendborn and then we have Lore by Alexandra Bracken and this was sent to me by Disney 
books as well so thank you to Disney books for sending this my way they also sent this really cute backpack and I posted it when I got it on Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram definitely go do that because most of the time when I get my boxes and stuff like that I will post it on Instagram first and then post it in my book hauls you know so Instagram family gets a sneak peek before the YouTube family does sorry but I believe this is a urban fantasy about Greek mythology the fact that it's more modern really interests me so I'm excited about this as well I want someone to count how many times I say I'm excited in this video because I know I know it's gonna get annoying this next book was sent to me by Wattpad books which I literally loved Wattpad growing up to be honest there are a few books that I still read on Wattpad now so this is really cool but they sent me Revenge of the Sluts and this is by Natalie Walton. So next up I have this exciting box that I want to show y'all. So I'm not going to show y'all everything that's in the box, just the book that's in the box. But I'm sure you guys can guess what it is. Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. So Simon Teen sent me over this art box of this book if you haven't you can watch my chain of gold reading vlog it's spoiler free so you can go ahead i'll link it up here for you guys to go watch but it's been about a year since i've read chain of gold and i have been fiending to get my hands on this book so i'm so ready i know it's a bit bigger than chain of gold and look at like god look at how big it is i have a feeling a few people are going to ask me how many pages are in this so i'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all now it is 656 in the arc which is subject to change but for now 656 pages in this thick boy yeah i'm just so ready to see what the characters are up to there's just nothing like the feeling of reading a cassandra clare book truly thank you to simon teen for sending this my way i really really appreciate it i can't wait to read it so i actually have another really exciting box that i want to unbox with you guys this is something that epic reads actually sent my way i don't know if you guys can read what's on the box but it says you are a realm breaker so if you don't know what that is i'm going to open it and show y'all so on the box it says a squire and a mortal an assassin a sorceress a forger a bounty hunter and a pirate's daughter the ward's last hope so the first thing that we have is this like letter which it has a little wax seal on it i honestly don't even want to open it i believe this is just the author letter um i'm not going to open this yet because i want to do an unboxing on my instagram so yes i'm going to do an unboxing on my instagram story but i'm really 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 excited to read this i always love reading author letters when they send arcs because it's just it feels really special and like sentimental and then they sent this realm breaker map this is really really cute i love having maps of books and i'm really Really grateful because a lot of the time in advanced reader copies they don't have apps like they're not fully finished yet so this is going to be really good to look at while i'm reading the book and then we have realm breaker by victoria aveyard i was freaking out when this book got released because i always just view victoria aveyard as the author of red queen and i love the red queen series if you didn't already know i don't talk about it that much on my channel but i definitely do love that series a lot it was actually what helped me get back into reading and then right after i binged like the entire red queen series up until I think what book was out at the time king's cage was out at the time i binged the first three books in that series and i was obsessed i literally was so obsessed i was like i need more fantasy and that's when i read throne of glass by sarah j mass and that's kind of what like made me find my love for reading again so i'm forever grateful to victoria aveyard for doing that and for having such amazing writing skills and such amazing world building skills so I'm really excited about this and I feel like I'm going to enjoy it thoroughly this comes out on May 21st or that's what it says on the arc at least so I'm really really excited thank you again to epic reads for sending me this book and this art box it's so cute i'm really really excited and yes let me know if you guys are excited about this book i'm kind of sad i didn't put this on my most anticipated reads of 2021 but just know that it's on there it's on there mentally and that's all that matters so next up we have the castle school for troubled girls and this is by Alyssa Sheenmail and this is pretty much a dark academia type of story this girl's parents sent her to a boarding school 
and she pretty much knows that the reason why her parents are sending her there is because of how much trouble she's been after her best friend has died ever since she gets there weird shit starts happening at night and it's kind of up to her and i guess her group of friends or the other people at this school to get to the bottom of what the hell is going down this is another book that i really want to read now i hate being in a reading slump i literally hate being in a reading slump like when i say 2021 is kicking my ass this is what i mean then we also have the infinity course and this is by akemi don bowman this was sent to me by simon teen i've also really been excited for this the last two books that i just showed so this one and the castle school for troubled girls were both in my 2021 most anticipated reads so if you want to know more about them you could definitely go check that video out if you like these next two books were sent to me by christina which is another one of my really really great friends she gifted these to me during christmas so thank you so much christina i love you two dark rains and this is by kendar blake one of her favorite favorite series so i should have expected this and honestly i'm really grateful because i now finally have the completed series um i got like all of the books out of order so i finally have this one and then she got me one of my all-time favorite books and all-time favorite series back from when I was probably like in middle school I think when I read these and that is the Obsidian series but she got me the new paperback cover which I love I've been wanting to get this for a long time and I finally have it now so thank you she knows how much I love them I actually think she's read them too I'm in need for another reread there's so many books I want to reread that just bring me so much joy I think that's what I'm gonna do to get out of my reading slump, I'm gonna just reread a bunch of books that bring me joy. That always works. So I was debating on showing y'all my book of the month books because I usually show them in the beginning of like other videos, but I think I'm just gonna show them to you anyways. The first one is Girl A by Abigail Dean. Then we have The Kindest Lie by Nancy Johnson. Infinite Country by Patricia Angel. The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. And last but not least, we have Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere with this haul. Oh wait, before I finish with the book of the month, Month books there's another one that I got for the month of January I believe and that is the dating plan and this was by Sarah Desai I'm really really excited for this this was also in my 2021 most anticipated reads so yes so the next book we have is Lord of Shadows and this is by Cassandra Clare this was gifted to me by my really good friend Saul I thought I owned all of her books but then I was looking at my collection and I was like Where's Lord of Shadows? I have the Waterstones edition, but not the regular edition. He saw me freaking out over not having this book when I was reorganizing my bookshelves, and he was like, girl, like it's not that deep, I promise. And yeah, when I got it for Christmas, I really wasn't expecting it. I'm very, very grateful to have friends who know me that well. So thank you so much, Saw. I appreciate this. Can't wait to struggle in finding room on my Cassandra Clare shelf. It's packed to the brim and i already have like two shelves dedicated to her so we'll figure something out so this next book came in a beacon book box which i'm sure you've seen if you've watched my unboxing video and that is heiress apparently by diana ma the next book we have was actually another gift from a friend for christmas time and we were at target and she was like pick a book out and i was like no and she knew that i really really wanted this book so she got it for me anyways and that is to sleep in a sea of stars by christopher paolini and i never read the aragon series like i never got on that wave of reading those books but i do know they were very very popular to sleep in a sea of stars sounded really really interesting to me because my friend jocelyn was talking about it in a book haul i believe and she made it sound like it was so good and she only read like the first 100 or 50 pages i think this is adult fantasy or adult sci-fi i don't read adult fantasy or adult sci-fi that much this is also a book that i showed in my unboxing so you can go see that and this is the once in the future witches by alex e Haro. and the edges are like really pretty red i think it matches really really good with the cover and i know there's slight changes in the cover i'm not exactly sure what then i got a package and i'm really excited to show you all the books that are in this one i believe these are mostly romance books these books were kindly sent to me by leo pr i don't know if you guys can see that on here but it's sent to me by leo pr first up we have the checklist by addie woolridge and this one just sounded so intriguing to me the cover looked so cute this one comes out june 1st 2021 then next up we have one that i was really really excited for and that is christina lauren the soulmate equation and christina lauren's books recently have been very hit or miss but i always read them no matter what because i love christina lauren period like the unhoneymooners beautiful bastard just 
just I love all of their books I love the fact that they're best friend author duo all of it so I'm really excited to read this this one comes out May 18th 2021 and then the next book was Love at First by Kate Claiborne and then last but definitely not least we have Muse and this is by Brittany Cavallaro thank you again to Leo PR for offering to send me over these books I really really appreciate it I'm really excited to get to all of them especially the soulmate equation and the checklist okay the next book is a fairy loop book so let's open this this is master of one by jada jones and danny bennett this is a fairy loot exclusive it's very very pretty i love me some fairy loot the edges are also sprayed and like they're very glittery i think you can kind of sort of tell like you can see like the sheen and then underneath the dust jacket is really pretty as well there's like art of characters i'm too lazy to take off the whole thing but you guys get the gist and it's also signed on the inside so yes thank you to fairy loot for sending me over one of their boxes which i also again unboxed in my unboxing video i keep talking about it but it's because i had a lot of boxes to unbox and a lot of books that came from that obviously next up we have happily ever afters and this is by elise bryant then we have eventide by sarah goodman and then muted and this is by tammy charles which is told in verse as well also this cover is gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful and i found this i literally like randomly decided to open the dust jacket the other day look at how cute this is it's a little pink plane and clouds and like the blue looks really 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 bright right now because of all the lights that i have but in person it's like this really nice dark like sky blue color so the pink really pops out and okay i'm just going on and on and on about how pretty the color is but it's stunning i love it so next up i'm pretty sure like the last group of books that i have to show you all are all sent to me by simon Teen. so thank you so much to simon Teen for sending these my way first up we have wings of ebony and this is by jl they sent this to me earlier or some point in january i think i was in la at the time and by the time i got back home this was waiting in the mail for me and this is a signed first edition so that is so cool and it's signed in like gold ink you can't see yeah you can kind of sort of it's signed in gold ink and it was so cool and i was really really excited to get this in the mail so thank you to simon teen for this one okay a huge box let's do this so i think this was an accident but they sent me two copies of the movie tie-in edition slash netflix edition of always and forever laura jean by jenny han which is really funny because i don't own any of the other books in the series but they did send me these and i'm really really grateful for them i will probably be giving one away or giving one to my local like used bookstore or thrift store for those who probably need it way more than i do and i probably will be keeping one because the cover is so cute but yes thank you to simon Teen for sending these my way then there is i don't know knots and crosses and it says streaming now on peacock i didn't know that there was a streaming service called peacock but now i do to be honest i'm opening this box with you all because i haven't gotten a chance to really 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 look at what was in here it's also kind of like a mass market paperback it's really really tiny i've never heard of this this is really funny then we have the meet cute project and this is by rhiannon richardson this is an advanced reviewer copy so this isn't the final book but i believe that the final book is out because i'm pretty sure they sent me the final book hold on yep they did in another box they sent sent me the meet cute project and this is the finished copy same thing i will probably be donating this probably to like a local library or a thrift store etc the next book is when you were mine by rebecca surly then we have in deeper waters by ft lukens and this cover the cover though we have your corner dark by desmond hall this is also an advanced readers copy most of the books that i'm showing you all right now are advanced readers copies just so y'all know and then we have a faux love story which i've been seeing all over my instagram feed recently so i'm really really excited about this one then we have bruised by tanya boteju then we have your heart my sky by margarita and Joe. and then last but not least for this specific box we have glimpsed by gf miller that was all the books in this box now let's get into the last few books of this book haul which are also sent to me by simon Teen, and i believe these are finished copies so the final copies that i got from the other box in this one were glimpsed by gf miller and your dark corner by desmond hall as well as the meet cute project i almost dropped these books can i relax as well as the 
the Meet Cute Project by Rhiannon Richardson. And then the last book of this book haul is a complicated love story set in space and this is by Sean David Hutchinson. This is from the same author who wrote We Are the Ant, which I've heard a lot of great things about. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the link in my description in order to find out more about Brightly Woven and I want to say thank you again to Disney Book Group for sponsoring this video. You could never have enough middle grade graphic novels and that's a fact. And also thank you to all of you guys for sticking through and watching this book haul. Let me know if you're excited for any of these books or if you've read any of these books I can't wait to read your comments you guys honestly really help convince me to pick up a book especially if I'm in a reading slump if you've read it or you've liked it in the past so don't forget to follow me on all my social medias it'll be linked down below Instagram Twitter Goodreads etc and also if you enjoyed this subscribe and like this video as well turn on my notifications all of that I love you all so much and I hope you have an amazing day or night or whatever time of the day it is where you are and I will see you all in my next video Mwah. east and the west I'm racking up on my breath uh, power on me I'm feeling just like a Tesla too much tree the smoke is making my chest hurt girl on me I'm thinking I should arrest her hey I'm thinking I should arrest all night long she putting me to the test got a lot on I'm trying to take out the rest